We're at Dormill Colliery near Arley in Warwickshire, about 10 miles from Coventry. Uh, this mine site has been uh, working the Warwickshire thick coal seam since the 1950s and uh, it's been a very successful mine but uh, in February of this year uh, one part of the mine, the underground workings, caught fire. Uh, it, we were unable to deal with that fire and we had to evacuate the mine and we've been unable to get back in because the fire is still alight, it's still raging and it's sucking oxygen down the shafts. The only way we can fully put the fire out is to seal the shaft. Normally when a, a mine is abandoned and a shaft is treated and filled to cap it off, all the conveyances, the ropes and all the associated pipework cables and auxiliary equipment is normally taken out the shaft and you fill a bare shaft. Because of the fire underground we cannot go down there to carry out those works so what we've had to do is develop a method to seal the mine working from the surface only and this has necessitated designing equipment to manage the suspended loads of the ropes in the shaft. To enable the shaft to be filled whilst these ropes are in situ we have to manage the tensions on the rope if we don't do that, as the material goes into the shaft, it would grab the ropes and try and pull the ropes into the shaft, which are connected to the top of the headgear, and would cause the headgear to collapse. In conjunction with ECS, we have designed a purpose-made framework to go over the shaft to support the 200 tonnes worth of ropes. This has been designed and manufactured at ECS's works to JMC specification, You've got four main girders which go across the shaft, which are 900 millimetres deep. All this framework has been designed with a five to one factor of safety, with the intention that if the shafts are not fully filled this year, this has got a 25 year design life. The second layer of steelwork supports the clamping beams. There are several beams all the way across the top which support the individual, what we call two bolt clamps, that are in stacks of eight. Each one of those two bolt clamps itself has got a further two to one factor of safety. On the right hand side you can see a double stack with some rods and some cylinders. That arrangement is what's used to actually support the weight of the ropes whilst we cut them, settle them onto the bottom set of two bolt clamps and then leave them ready for shaft fill. ECS have done an excellent job in designing and manufacturing this framework. For me to project manage this, it's much easier for me if I'm dealing with a company like ECS, yeah, who've got that competence, they've got core competences within ECS that give me confidence as the statutory mechanical engineer that will give me something that's fit for purpose.